What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all have had a good day. So once again guys, once again, we are being invaded by these beluga whales, okay? The beluga whales are wilding out. Once again, they're going crazy. They're invading our shores. For the sake of our children and our grandchildren, bro, we must put an end to it, okay? We must put an end to their shenanigans once and for all, okay? Because honestly, they're too crazy. They're wilding out too much. And I will not stand for it, bro, okay? I will not stand for it. So today's beluga whale is upset because she's not allowed in Orlando Studios because she weighs too much or something. Play it, bro. I'm gonna be really real and transparent with you guys for a minute. Um, I absolutely love coming here. Um, the inclusivity is not where it's at, though. Um, last night, I could not ride Gringotts. Um, I'm only a size 18. Well, according to Google, it says it's size 18, at least not yet. It's considered a healthy size. It's kind of funny how they phrased it like that, not yet considered a healthy size. Like, in the future, it might be considered a healthy size because of, like, political correctness and shit. But yeah, as of now, bro, size 18 is not a healthy size. So, maybe lose some weight, maybe go to the gym or something. See, me, I'm going to the gym, like, four days a week, bro. And it's not that hard to get into a consistent schedule with it, bro. You know? Just go to the gym, lose some weight, try to eat better or something, and then you'll have no problem going to Universal Studios and riding on the rides. There are such simple solutions to these problems, okay? All it requires is a little self-discipline, bitch, okay? A little self-discipline, maybe lose a little bit of that weight, and boom, you know, you have no problem, okay? But no, whine about it on TikTok like a fucking bitch and cry. That's their solution, dude. Um, which means there are a lot of guests who are bigger than I am who also wouldn't be able to ride. Um, and this morning, I rope dropped to try to get on Hagrid's, um, and I... I don't fit on Hagrid's either, uh, so I'm a little disappointed at another Orlando amusement park that I visit on a regular basis. I fit on every ride, um, so I don't know, a little, a little disappointed. Man, somebody needs to harpoon this bitch for real, though, okay? She needs to shut the fuck up, bro. Oh, my God. Somebody harpoon this bitch, dude. Jesus. Yeah, the rides aren't gonna ergonomically fit your needs because you are overweight, okay? You are... You weigh way more than the average person does, so why does everything else have to ergonomically fit your needs? A normal person would be like, wow, dude, I don't fit any of these rides. Damn, I should probably lose some weight, dude. I'm fucking scared of shit right now, okay? Like, literally, bro, I might die early. This is a wake-up call I needed, bro. Time to lose some weight. Time to go to the gym. A normal person might say that, okay? but you are like, Universal Studios needs to completely retrofit all their rides and spend billions of dollars just so my fucking fat ass can fit on the rides. They need to do all of that versus like, you going to the gym and like, spending some money on a gym membership and like, maybe eating a little less McDonald's. Really, bro? You really that fucking entitled, bitch? <laughs> oh my god, dude. The entitlement really is unreal here. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please slap a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and maybe, maybe leave a super thanks. Speaking of entitledness, Maybe leave a super thanks for feeling extra generous today. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye.